Up next, the different modes of transmission. There are two main methods of disease transmission, direct contact and indirect contact. However, there are four specific categories of indirect contact. These are droplet, airborne, vehicle, and vector. As previously explained, the transmissibility of the infectious disease process varies depending on the type of pathogen. Moreover, infectious pathogens follow various modes of transmission between individuals. Viruses typically enter the host via natural orifices, such as the mouth, the eyes, or genital openings. Other points of entrance include the skin through cuts or needle sticks. Let us describe the different modes of transmission of infectious disease processes. There are six modes by which infections are transmitted and, respectively, corresponding ways of controlling their spread. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, and the World Health Organization, or WHO, WHO, all infections are spread by means categorized under these modes of transmission. The necessary precautions vary with the microorganisms and the context of the illness. Direct contact involves direct body-to-body -body contact, such as touching or kissing an infected person. This entails physical transfer of the pathogen between the infected individual and the new host. Indirect contact involves touching an inanimate object that has been contaminated by an infected person. The inanimate object is called a fomite. A fomite is therefore any contaminated object that can spread an infection. For example, a doorknob. Droplet transmission is a form of indirect transmission. However, in droplet transmission, the disease generates droplets that are propelled for a short distance before depositing on a susceptible host. Droplets are generated by the infected person by coughing, sneezing, singing, talking, or doing procedures such as bronchoscopy. The droplets can land on the host's conjunctiva, nasal mucosa, or mouth. Droplets typically travel about three feet in the air before dropping to the ground or landing on a host. Examples of droplets spread are influenzas, measles, and mumps. Airborne transmission is a type of infection that is transmitted via airborne nuclei, which are very small droplets. These tiny droplets can remain suspended in the air for long periods of time, either as evaporated droplets or as dust particles containing the infectious agent. They can travel on air currents and be inhaled. Examples are TB, pneumonia, meningitis, chickenpox, rubella, and COVID-19. Transmission by vehicle means that the contaminated item, typically a liquid, such as water, drugs, solutions, blood, equipment, or improperly prepared food, carries the infection into the host's body. An example of vehicle contact 
or vehicular transmission is the transmission of the salmonella bacteria from infected food to an individual. In this case, the food is the vehicle. Vector transmission occurs when the carrier is an organism, such as an insect or animal. For example, a mosquito, a flea, or a tick can carry the infection from an infected person to a non-infected individual. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.